Before we turn left to cross the creek and head up Ray Morgan Road, have a look at the dome. There are 19 similar volcanic structures along Marsh Creek Road. All were formed around the same time. When you first see the volcanic domes, you don't see them. <laughs> Even though it's a very different shape and a slightly different color than the hills or ridges around it, it'll just blend right in. When you do notice it, you'll think, wow, it's strangely steep. It looks like the cap of a mushroom. Mount Diablo is not a volcano. Its pyramid peaks emerged maybe a couple of million years ago when ancient rocks from deep underground were squeezed up along faults through younger sedimentary layers. But long before Mount Diablo emerged, big movements in Earth's crust changed direction. A place where magma was oozing up on the bottom of the ocean floor, the ocean spreading center, collided with the subduction zone off the coast of California. The North American plate then ran over the ocean spreading center. This caused subduction to cease, but initiated the development of the San Andreas Fault, which became the new plate boundary between the North American plate and the Pacific plate. Meanwhile, spreading continued underneath Western North America. Sometimes the magma that was generated was basaltic, such as the volcanic material seen at Sibley Regional Park to the west of Mount Diablo. And sometimes the magma was rhyolitic or dacitic as it is here at the volcanic dome of Perkins Creek. As the newly formed San Andreas Fault lengthened, so did the zone of volcanism, moving northward up the coast through time. Today, the San Andreas Fault ends just off Cape Mendocino. Geologists can track its development by looking at the trail of volcanoes and volcanic rocks left behind. The plate is being dragged down and all of a sudden it's not anymore. There's kind of a rebound action and the magma comes up to fill the void. It's able to leak out very easily. So what you find is starting in Southern California where the plate movement first started to switch over, that's where the volcanic started. And then you can follow it up like a zipper. The volcanic rock at the Pinnacles is about 23 million years old. In the Berkeley Hills, about 10 million. And in Sonoma and Napa, about 5 million. And then there's Clear Lake with the geysers. That's where the switchover is going on now. Subduction is still happening on the coast west of Mount Shasta. But it's expected to stop as the San Andreas network of faults stretches northward and more and more of the subduction zone is run over by the North American plate. The Perkins Canyon Volcanic Dome is a monument to the time when subduction ended here. This hill is made of a volcanic rock called rhyodacite, dacite for short. It at one time was lava, melted rock, that squeezed out of the ground. This kind of lava is different in composition than the kind of lava that I think most people are accustomed to seeing in places like Hawaii. It's very sticky, having the consistency of toothpaste. So when it comes out of the ground, it piles up around the vent in a very steep-sided structure that geologists call a volcanic dome. Because this dome is believed to be relatively young, geologically speaking, it hasn't eroded extensively and still maintains, likely, much of its original shape. What's the difference between a volcanic dome and a volcano? Usually when we use the word volcano in geology, we're referring to a center of eruptive activity that can be active over long periods of time. Usually when we talk about a dome, we're talking about a very narrow window of time in which the eruptions would occur. The lava would squeeze out. It might continue to be squeezing or oozing out onto the ground for a period of years or even decades, and then slow up, cease, and probably never erupt again. Save Mount Diablo first learned about this type of geology when buying a property to the east of here called Marsh Creek 5, with huge outcroppings of dacite and its own volcanic dome. That property was steep, 
had no parking and was covered in poison oak, so Seth Adams started taking people to Perkins Canyon to share this part of the mountain's geologic history. In our next segment, we'll get a look at what's inside the volcanic dome. Turn left at the sign at the south end of the meadow trail. Stop in less than five minutes at the creek crossing. Here we have ancient stones from Mount Diablo's core, right beside more youthful hunks of the dome. Stick with us and you'll soon be able to tell the difference. <laughs>